Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it really is important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions whatsoever you would like to contact me please do so. You can find um, all my information right below into the YouTube description box so you will be able to find there um, list of readings, contact, whatever it is that you need, it's most likely right there. So please do check it out and um, please do not hesitate. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and you do enjoy the channel, please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always and greatly appreciated and I do thank you so very much. Um, I want to take a very brief moment, but it's really important for me. Um, I want to thank all of you, every single one of you. Thank you for being there. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, I also want to thank um, all the subscribers who have donated to the channel. Much gratitude, and I do thank you also. So let's begin this reading. These are messages that are coming from your angels. Um, they're guidance messages, so let's go and see what is in store for you. I have, if you get nervous, focus on service. I have past life issue and I have a third eye chakra. So let's start this off over here with if you get nervous, focus on service. So this is about putting your entire attention on answering the question. How can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction is automatically going to take care of your needs from there. So, you receive this message because you've been called into spiritual service. Now, either as a healer or as a teacher. The thought of conducting public spiritual work may trigger quite some nervousness for a lot of people, but this is not what this is about. Don't worry, this anxiety has no bearing on your readiness at all for this service. This is simply, okay, being, um, how could I say? This is simply being who you are, stating what is important for you, what your beliefs are, and standing on strong. Um, it doesn't really matter what the other people do believe in or not, as long as you do. What's really important here also is to work on your ego, that ego wrestling, to gain control through fear. Um, the antidote for you is to focus on your higher self and your mission, which is truly the loving service to the divine. This is what you have to remember. Now, your higher self, okay, is 100% psychic and you are tapped into the divine healing energy. So in order for you to operate out of your higher self, you need to focus on blessings instead of impressing others. Begin each one of your sessions of meditation um, with just opening your heart and asking the question, how may I serve to put your higher self in charge? This is really about sitting quietly, visualizing yourself, conducting a healing session for yourself. Giving yourself, if you will, a psychic reading for you. This is about finding your intention. This is about receiving the messages from the divine. And this is about focusing on giving and the universe is automatically going to give right back to you. Moving on over now to um, past life issue. And the past life issue right over here is all about how the situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Something you're going through right now, you have been through this in a previous life and maybe you do have some type of acknowledgement of it, maybe you feel it, maybe you feel like something is wrong or you've been here before, you've seen the situation. Um, um, but this is something that has, your situation has come from a past life. Um, you need to ask your angels right now to help you remember, to help you release, to help you learn, and to help you heal from those past experiences so you can um, stop that cycle right away. You receive this message because your experiences and your emotions from one of your previous lifetimes are influencing the situation that you're inquiring about right now. So you have well-earned wisdom from the past life, but you need to allow it to guide you into your present situation by trusting your gut feeling and those famous hunches that we have. Now those intuitive impulses, they're going to result 
from the knowledge that you've gained in earlier life and that you need to trust. So people from your past life, they are making themselves known to you in this lifetime. Now they include a soulmate, a family member, all with whom you share some karmic ties. And in the past, these relationships may have been painful, but now is your opportunity to balance that karma and to break the reincarnation cycle if you do choose to. So this is about um, calling, by the way, Archangel Raziel, okay? Um, which really means secrets of God. And this is the angel who's going to help you understand, assimilate and heal your past life memories. So you need to go to a quiet place and you need to say aloud or silently if you feel better. Archangel Raziel, I call upon you now. Please help me understand and then describe your current situation by guiding and healing me through my past experiences, my past relationships. I ask that you help me to balance all karma with everyone involved in this situation in all directions of time. And if you do that, you will be healed. Okay. Razio will help you uncover, heal, and release any old berry pain now and forever. Let's move on over to your um, third eye chakra over here, which is your final message for today. And the third eye chakra is all about how it's safe for you to see the energy of love, but in all its forms, such as angels and auras and visions. This message is coming to you in response to your question about your future. You have visions about yourself um, and you're wondering whether they're real or if they're just mere imagination. Well, the angels, they're here to assure you that you are having accurate insight and your angels, they wish to encourage you, they wish to encourage your visual spiritual gifts. You have that natural clairvoyant tendency and it's governed by the energy that is um, located between your two physical eyes, which is known as that third eye chakra. So the angels, they're sending clairvoyant messages that you perceive in your mind's eye as shapes and colors and mental, um, it could be mental movies and dreams and so forth. You may be even receive, be receiving their messages via the physical site, uh, seeing number 111 or 444, um, lights uh, moving and objects uh, flickering, or through signs and symbols. Now, the angels, they wish to help you to fully awaken your third eye and to understand your psychic vision. They're helping you right now. They're guiding you to notice and to trust all that you see with your inner and with your outer vision. This, please do call upon Archangel Raphael and the angels of clairvoyance to help you to surround your head with your healing energy, to clear your third eye of any old fear energies and entities or other blocks or intrusions that might be in your life right now. And this, my dear friends, does conclude this reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that your angels brought you some um, very interesting advice that you'll be able to use. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please do click on to the subscribe button. Uh, if you wished to contact me, please do so. All my information is right below. Um, in the meanwhile, I wish you the most beautiful day. Thank you for being there, and I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.